www.thestrategy.com. Hello and welcome to our look at the upcoming week of March 30th in the binary options markets. You can see I have the economic calendar in front of you. And Monday we have uh, pending home sales. It is not a big mover as it once was. So the high um, importance rating on the uh, calendar is a little bit mis misleading. Quite frankly, we feel that uh, core PCE probably has more of an opportunity to affect the markets than anything else. It should be uh, a U.S. stock-centric type of day. As we look into Tuesday, we get a couple important announcements out of the United Kingdom. We have GDP. Uh, that, of course, will move the FTSE and the uh, British pound. We also have German unemployment. That should have an effect on the DAX directly. Later in the session, we have the Japanese releasing the Tancan Larn Manufacturers Index and Non-Manufacturers Index. That tends to move the Nikkei. And, of course, we have Manufacturing and uh, PMI and then HSBC Manufacturing PMI uh, out of China, which can move just risk assets in general. As we look at the Wednesday session, you can see that German Manufacturing PMI comes out. That is a DAX and Euro event. Manufacturing PMI comes out of Great Britain. That's going to move the FTSE and the pound. And then we have... Uh, ADP, non-farm employment change coming out of the United States. That's our first look at the employment numbers before we get the all-important non-farm payroll number on Friday. We do have construction PMI coming out on Thursday. That's going to be about it. Expect Thursday to be fairly quiet as the day before non-farm payroll uh, typically uh, tends to be. Uh, and then as uh, we go through the session on Friday, we have holidays around the world for Good Friday. Um, the United States has non-farm payroll Friday uh, announcements, not payroll numbers, I should say. So non-farm payroll Fridays do tend to be uh, pretty volatile. It's going to be especially so considering that so many other countries are on vacation um, or on holiday, I should say. So really, it's more than likely going to be very erratic trading. It'll be a very quick move. And then after that, probably won't have much. We'll probably move for about an hour and after the announcement and then uh, pretty much drift through the rest of the session on Friday. Looking over at the FTSE, you can see that we have pulled back a bit during the week, but you know what? This is excellent, actually, because we're starting to pull into the support area that we have broken out of. So some type of supportive action in this area should be a call buying opportunity. And we believe that by the end of the week, the FTSE will continue to grind itself higher. As you can see, we have formed a bit of a shooting star in a weekly chart for the euro. It looks like the euro is going to continue to go lower. So we continue to buy puts every time it rallies on a short term chart. And then, of course, if we break down below the lows at the 1.08 level, we would also be put buyers there heading towards the 1.0450 level. You can see that the S&P 500 had a negative week, but it's well within the trend that we have seen. Nothing's changed in our opinion. We feel that uh, any type of pullback here more than likely will find support. And that support we will buy in the form of calls. With that, we've taken a look at the upcoming March 30th trading week.